This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. After years of hard work and dedication, best friends Gavin. Jennifer. Nadia. And Cole. have finally graduated and are ready to start their adult lives. They only have one summer left before they go their separate ways for college, and these friends are determined to make it the best summer ever. They've rented a house in the quaint town of Strangerville, but it doesn't take long before our travelers realize that something is a little different. Will our Sims survive the summer? Find out in Hey y'all, it's the cute coffee gal and I am so excited to be playing uh, The Sims 4 Strangerville with you guys today. Um, thanks so much to EA for early access so that I can record this for you guys. And before I do anything further, you see the map up on the screen. Yes, I am playing this game, which means I will be spoiling the story. So, if you were hoping to play the game yourself, why don't you just go ahead, put this video in your watch later uh, little playlist on YouTube, come back to it after you've had a chance to play for yourself. I did want to make sure I said that up front in case uh, anybody was asking. I'm not doing any kind of like build by overview, we're just hopping straight into the gameplay. Um, I hope that you will watch me play because I'm really excited for the story that we're going to create. But I did want to give a big spoiler warning. And before we go any further, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so that you'll be able to watch all of the Strangerville series as well as my other videos here on YouTube. And don't forget that I do have a giveaway going on. So. For people who are subscribed to my channel, you can enter that giveaway. The information is in the description down below, but it is for the Xbox pack of your choice for Sims 4. Uh, so make sure that you check that out. So I have, uh, here is the Strangerville map. I'm very excited. Um, I had a, a very quick little peek just as I was putting together the intro for you guys, but I have not played the game at all. So. I uh, am very excited to kind of explore it and discover it with you guys. It looks like we have a couple of neighborhoods. So this one down here is called the Strangerville Plaza. It's where all the locals hang out. It says that scientists are at the library, military are at the bar, and the curio shop is near the trailer park, which I think that's what this little booth looking thing is right here. And it also says that we can buy some strange odds and ends here and we'll find all the information we need. So I have a feeling that this little curio booth is going to be a big thing that we do. Um, one of the things that there were a lot of pictures of online that I was curious about was this kind of plane wreck. It looks like it's a residence, like somebody actually lives there. So I think that's hysterical that that's not like a park. I thought it was going to be a park. It's totally somebody's house. Um, and it looks like there's also uh, this little bedroom, uh, this little lot is available. Um, there is a house that is here with a family already in it. Looks like she's military and it looks like I, I, I kind of recognize her from the trailer. Then we've got the library right here. This is the local bar. And then this lot right here is where I've got my Sims. And there was a house that was here, a little one bedroom house. It was very sparse. Um, and I just needed something bigger. And so what I have done is I've downloaded this um, off of the gallery. I made a couple of small changes, but it's mostly the way it was on the gallery. Um, and so that was this house right here. Um, it's the user is O-S-I-A-Z-U-L, Ozile, Zul, Ozashul. I am totally butchering that. Um, but anyway, that is, that is the name of this, uh, user and the, the build is just organic. 
Um, it looks a little bit fancier and more modern than the other things that are in Strangerville. And so the way that I'm kind of thinking about this is that um, one of our Sims, their aunt, um, but basically like bought an Airbnb like and built an Airbnb in this random town. Totally sight unseen, like had no idea that there was strange stuff in this little town. And so uh, she's letting her nephew and his friends use the house for the summer. So that explains a little bit why it looks a little out of place. Um, but anyway, that is the house that I've got for us. There's also this other neighborhood up here. It says Shady Acres. Um, and it looks like the, the big question is, how did these people uh, get so wealthy? So there's a family right here, the Roswell family. They look like a good country western family. Then we've got uh, Eclectic Arts household, which just makes me laugh because that's EA. Um, and then there's this other house right here that is empty and a couple of empty lots. And then, of course, we have the secret lab of some kind, and it's been redacted, so we don't even know what that is yet. So let's go ahead, hop on in, and I will introduce you to The Sims. I know you kind of got a little bit of a preview of them in the intro, which I had a lot of fun putting together. Um, but I want to real quick show you who they are, kind of explain their personalities a little bit, show you their traits, and then let's just like hop right on in, start exploring, figuring out where things are, what crazy stuff we need to be looking for. Um, <laughs> I, I, when I was looking around, um, taking pictures and things in order to get the uh, intro stuff done, I was trying really hard not to look at other stuff in the neighborhood because I didn't want to be spoiled myself for the storyline. So... It looks like we've got a little bit of a welcome screen here. Welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. So definitely we'll be taking a look at plants everywhere. Soon after moving in, the town slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking people about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on this strange situation. So... We'll need to kind of walk around and ask some people about the city, it looks like. But these are our sims that we're starting with. Um, and so I'll kind of talk through each of them. Let me flip on over here to the um, little personality so y'all can see that. So the kind of main sim I have for this Let's Play, kind of the guy who's going to actually be solving the, the issue, who's going to be working on this particular uh, mystery, is Cole. So that is... This lovely gentleman right here and actually they are all let me real quick just change their outfits because I don't want you to see their hot weather outfits I want you to see their normal people outfits um, and I did uh, because of you know thinking about the storyline if they're all friends from high school oh wait she's in her outfit um, if they're all friends from high school who are here on summer vacation it made sense to me to actually make the season be summer and I've got the season set to long. So my my hope is that we will be able to solve this whole thing. Um, are you going to change your outfits? There we go. Um, hopefully we'll be able to solve this entire thing while it's still summer. Um, because in theory, they're here for summer vacation. So if we get into fall, then they've stayed too long. <laughs> so that's kind of my goal with the Let's Play. Um, it's going to be about a, a mini Let's Play. I'm not sure exactly how many parts it'll be. It'll depend on how long it takes us to solve the mystery. I seriously doubt it'll be more than 10 and it probably won't even be that many. So um, really, I'm just playing this to solve the mystery. So anyways, back to Cole. Uh, let's get back on him here. So this is our, our main character, Cole, who is going to be solving the issue. Um, he is um, normally his aspiration would be to um, be the uh, computer whiz. He is just like incredibly brilliant and smart and that's actually probably why he picked up early on that something weird was going on it's his aunt's house um so this is his aunt's house and he's invited his friends to come with him for the summer and so i've made his aspiration be this brand new one that came with the pack the strangerville mystery aspiration so uh, it looks like we need to talk to five different sims about strangerville buy something from that little curio shop and examine the sealed door at the secret lab so it does sound like we're going to be taking a trip out to that lab. Um, but who he is, uh, so he is a geek. 
He is a genius, and he is also a dance machine. If you'll saw in the uh, little intro that he is very uh, skilled at being a DJ, that was kind of his side gig in his uh, high school years was that he DJed all the parties. Um, he also, like I said, he's a kind of a nerdy guy, but like in a cool way, nerdy guy. And he is definitely a computer whiz. And so he also uh, does a lot of things on the computer, including a little bit of programming. So that is who Cole is. Then we come to um, our next uh, character, which is Miss Jennifer right here. Jennifer is, uh, she was a cheerleader in high school, but she wasn't like your stereotypical cheerleader. Um, she also is really into like archaeology and kind of collecting things and being a bit of an explorer. So her aspiration is that she wants to be the curator and she wants to collect things. I thought that would be a good thing for us to have here in Strangerville because she is hopefully going to like explore all that flora that they were talking about, the strange plants and things. So that's kind of my thought for her. And as far as who she is, she, of course, loves the outdoors. She is cheerful. And she has the new trait of being paranoid. Paranoid Sims feel that danger is around every corner and that people are always talking about them. Paranoid Sims feel a sense of security while hanging out in basements. So I kind of thought this through being... Um, she, she might have originally become a bit of paranoid because of being a cheerleader, especially being a cheerleader who's not like the stereotypical cheerleader. She was a little bit different, a little bit odd, and she always thought that people were talking about her. Um, and so that's kind of where it started. Coming to Strangerville, she's like taking it to a whole nother level. Something weird is happening. She doesn't know what it is. She kind of wants to go and explore it, but she also kind of wants to go hide from it in the basement. So <laughs> that is Jennifer. Then we have uh, Gavin Kim, who is right over here. He was the basketball star in high school. Very athletic. His aspiration is to become a bodybuilder. Um, I actually think that he will eventually go down the professional athlete track. That's going to be who he is. And then as far as his traits, he is a bit of a bro, he is a goofball, and he is active. Um, so though that's a little bit about who he is. Um, one other thing that is a little interesting, because he is an athlete who is like top star athlete at his school, definitely being looked at by all the colleges to be a part of their teams. Um, Gavin's actually gay. And so that's something that uh, is is a little bit of a, an interesting thing about him because that is not something that we often see with athletes, but he's very comfortable in his sexuality. And then we have our lovely lady, Nadia, over here. Who's got her eyes closed right now, but that's okay. Um, so Nadia is like, she was the theater person, like the weirdo theater kid in high school. Um, and she wants to be a master actress. That is her aspiration. She uh, has the skills of being, uh, she's self-absorbed because she's she's on her way to fame, or so she thinks. Um, she also is a little bit hot-headed. Her emotions are at the surface, um, which is great when she's acting because she can kind of access all of that. But at the same time, it kind of wreaks havoc on her personal life. And then she also is romantic. So she is super flirty. She is always trying to get the boys to pay attention to her. Um, and that kind of plays into her being a little self-absorbed as well. Um, but that is, is Nadia. So my, um, impression is that, um, Nadia is somebody who likes to, you know, flirt with everybody and kind of chit chat with everybody. She makes a lot of friends. And so I think that her, uh, kind of talking around with everybody here in Strangerville, um, we'll see what happens, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see, let's we'll see what's going on. So anyway, that is our, our pack, our crew. Um, and then the house that they are in, as I mentioned, I downloaded this off of the gallery. It seemed like when I, I downloaded a few different houses and was kind of like playing with them and exploring. And this one to me felt like such a perfect, like Airbnb house. So it's got this nice little dining area, a little coffee bar station, a small little kitchen. It's got a little breakfast nook. There is a very small but still there pool um, and a little massage table. There is this little kind of like loungy area with a full bar back here. 
um, out here in the backyard. They've got a little area for some barbecuing. There also was, um, this actually was built with a family in mind and I've kind of removed the family thing. So this was like a really cute little sandbox, but I've just put a hot tub there because why not? And then upstairs, uh, we do have, it's a three bedroom home. I think it says it's four bedrooms on the gallery, but I think that they're counting this um, office area as a potential bedroom. So we do have an office that's right over here. We have um, a bedroom that is right here. Right off of that bedroom is this back patio that's got some exercise equipment, so that's great. Then we have uh, the master bathroom, I believe, is right here. Um, and it's got a little patio as well so that you can kind of come and sit outside. And then this was like the little kid's room, and I just converted it into a double bedroom. You know how Airbnbs can be sometimes where they just kind of like stash rooms where they can so that <laughs> you've got everything that you need. You know, oh, there's two beds in there. So um, we're going to have two people share in that room. But, you know, they're all best friends, so they're going to be totally fine. And I'm noticing it looks like we've got like weird like smoke or something. Do y'all see that? I didn't notice that when I was in here making these edits. So I don't know if that's like, is that coming from the pool down below? I bet that's what it is. Maybe you can see it right there. That's very strange. Anyway, so anyway, that's our house. Um, and it is, it's really funny to me because if you look, let me uh, throw the walls up here so you guys can see. So here is this like really fun house that they've got here with like this gorgeous little fountain, very well landscaped. And it's next to all of these houses that are, are in perfectly fine shape. These are cute little houses, but they are smaller. They're definitely more of a kind of traditional style. This is kind of a little trendy looking. Um, my impression when I look at these houses, it very much makes me think of like military housing, um, which I'm sure is what they were going for. So it's really funny to me that like that his aunt just like bought this house and like bulldozed it and had somebody build this Airbnb house. And she like totally did not pay attention to aesthetics. And it is even even more so interesting than that. It's literally next door to the trailer park, <laughs> which this is such a cute little, I, I think this is adorable. Um, and I totally get why we can't like play with the trailers. That makes sense. But I love the way that they did add this one little lot in here um, that someone's in that uh, kind of mimics a trailer. I think that they did a really nice job kind of giving us the best of both worlds, having the feel of a trailer park. Um, even if it wouldn't, wasn't quite manageable to actually have the trailers be like something we could live in ourselves. So anyway, that's enough of me yammering on. That is, uh, that, that's our introduction to the series. So let's hop on in and let's get to play in a little bit. And I am hopping all over the place here. Why don't you zoom on in? There we go. All right. So let's see. Uh, he needs to... We need to kind of walk around town, I guess, and talk to some people is what I'm kind of picking up on, right? Yeah, we need to talk with five different Sims. Oh, and one other thing I didn't point out, um, there are two or three little computer stations upstairs, and I did replace the computers with the new laptops. Hello, we have laptops in the Sims now. Ooh, what is this? This is really interesting looking. Wild, bizarre plant. Here, come over here and look at this. Nadia was still standing at the front door. Come view this bizarre plant. I'm very curious. Required the fitness skill. That's great. Um, why? What hat is she wearing? I don't. I did not put her in a hat. That's kind of interesting. That's so strange looking. The bizarre plant has an odd glow about it, as if it is being controlled by some other entity. It looks as though there is something growing inside of it. Can we take a picture? I'm gonna go take a picture. Come back over here. Very interesting. So she's like, let's see, a photo has been added to our inventory. So she's like, Instagram time, you know, <laughs> on vacation. Let's see, add to, yes, add to some Instagram story. Absolutely, take a picture of you with that weird plant. Hashtag, you know, best summer ever. <laughs> yeah, this is totally not the bathing suit outfit that I had picked out for her. I hate it when that happens. It drives me crazy. All right, so she's now on the road to fame, which it was, you know, only a matter of time before that happened. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get Cole to go talk to some people. 
how about maybe go to that bar? Here's the library, I think. Oh, look, there's military people walking around already. Is this... Yeah, this is the library. Let's just go ahead and visit the library. And we will check this out. Come along. No, don't get on the laptop. I want you to come over here. Visit the library. There we go. See who's in there. I think they said, was it military and science people that hang out in the library? So we could probably talk to some of them. And then we definitely need to stop by the little curio shop too. All right, so, oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of people in here. Let's go on into, is it the information center? Great. Oh, there's not very much in here though. Like it literally is just a library. That's okay. Conspiracy theorist, Pepino Burris. And who is this? This is the library. We'll, we'll talk to her first. How about that? Uh, we'll do a friendly introduction and then we will talk about Strangerville. And then who is this? This is Dominique Bryce, who belongs, I think, in Windenburg. <laughs> now, don't sit down with him. I want you to talk to her. Ask her about Strangerville, please. Okay, I think that's what he's doing. It looks like a little picture or something. Have you heard of the secret lab in the crater? I want to go see it. Interesting. Okay. Let's go talk to the conspiracy theorist. Uh, friendly introduction, and then we will talk to him. I love how she's just doing sit-ups. It's so random. Gotta love the Sims. Oh, there's a cute little kid. Man, I would hate to have kids, like, if there are a whole bunch of aliens or something. I'm very curious to see what the actual story is. I have so far been able to avoid all the spoilers, so I'm so curious. Um, I've heard there's some kind of lab. Well, we already knew that. Who are you? Let's talk to you, too. Uh, friendly introduction and talk about StrangerVille. Who are you? Bjorn, whatever. Oh, this is another conspiracy theorist. Uh, friendly introduction. Look, there's so many of them in here. Oh, my gosh. Here, we're going to talk to all of you about StrangerVille because I want to hear all of your opinions. Oh, this looks like a scientist. Where'd she go? I want to talk to her, too. Oh, there's two scientists in here. Oh, my gosh. There's so many people in here. All right. We'll talk to the scientist, and we'll talk to this cowboy guy, and we'll talk to this scientist too. Surely, oh, hold on. Got to do some things here. But surely that'll be enough people to check off our thing, right? Oh my gosh, they're just all talking about the fact that there's a secret lab. We know that there's a secret lab. We are aware. Can I not? Come on, hurry up. Talk to that one. These guys are like so strange. Oh my gosh. Uh, the local library is known to have scientists researching the Strangerville archives. I wonder what they are looking for. All right, well, we're going to talk to a scientist, so we might get our question answered or just another clue. And we don't like flies. That's okay. I want to keep talking to people. Come on. Don't just chit chat with them. I want to actually hear. X out of that. I just want to do the talk about StrangerVille options. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay, that's fine. Y'all go away. Did we ask him about it yet? I can't remember. I don't think we did. I think I X out of it by accident. Is this another scientist? It is! Oh, where'd we go? Oh my gosh, these bookcases are actually really annoying. Okay. What does Mr. Cowboy say? Oh, same thing. Wonder what the scientists are looking for. All right, we're going to talk to a scientist now. What do you have to say? Anything? Uh, implications of what we're discovering in the crater are astounding. I mean, uh, the secret lab is totally boring and not worth even thinking about. <laughs> All right, so there's interesting stuff, but we're not supposed to know about it, it sounds like. That's fine. Um, there's some kind of cover-up going on. I've been listening in on the military people at the local bar to see if I can figure anything out. All right, so we need to go to the local bar at some point, definitely. Anything else from this scientist lady? Uh, there's some very interesting plant life around here. Have you seen any of it yet? I don't advise messing with it too much. All right. So we've got, we need to examine the door at the lab and then go buy something for the little curio shop. So let's go find the curio shop. 
Um, here, let's travel. Why are we uncomfortable? Oh, just because it's hot. Oh, well, here. All right, fine. I know I prefer you wearing your fun outfit. Put on your hot weather clothes. I should have just made their hot weather clothes be their normal outfits. I may go in and change that. Um, <laughs> because it's going to be summer. Of course it's going to be hot, like, all the time. I think... Is that his hot weather outfit? I think so. Okay, yeah, that got it. All right, let's go travel. And see... No, just by yourself. Oh my gosh, you know everybody in town now. Um, and let's... <laughs> <coughs> All right, so I'm looking here at this little shop, and it, you can't travel to it directly. And these are both residentials, so I'm going to go to the bar and assume that we can just walk across the street. Um, hopefully that'll work. <laughs> I love that this bar has a bathtub full of plants in front of it. Look at this. This is so bizarre. Can we do anything with any of these? No, that's just really funny. Um, but there is a military person here. Let's talk to them about Stranger Bill. See if there's anything interesting that they've got to say. I've never seen anybody in uniform with fancy earrings. That's kind of different. Uh, lovely town. Hope you enjoy your time here. Just stay away from the lab. <laughs> this guy looks a little rough. Oh, he's an elder. He just, he looks a little rough. Okay, let's see. Where is the, there it is. There it is. All right, let's um, go here. Is there anybody in there? Oh, yeah, the guy from the trailer's in there. What is his name? Erwin Prize. Prize. Erwin is, is the, the lovely gentleman from the trailer who uh, was trying to talk to his friend. So, hopefully, we will be able to talk with him. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do an introduction, because I have a feeling we're going to be back to see him several times. Um, and then we want to talk to him about Stranger Bill. And then I know we need to buy something. Ooh, secret inventory. We have no idea what these things are. Oh, uh, what did it say? Come back after encountering strange spores in the lab. Come back after examining the lab door. Okay, so we'll need to exam... That's one of our things we got to do anyway, so... All right. I need to buy curio items as well. So we need to buy one thing, and then we're going to go take a look at the lab door. And hopefully we won't do anything, you know, that'll get us in trouble. Here there are strange things going on in the lab. The scientists and military personnel can probably shed some light on the situation. Okay. What is all of this? Okay. This spy bug can be planted on other sims. Once planted, um, purchase a listening device. So we're going to probably want to, uh, we're probably going to want all of these things, right? Um, so this is a 101 tips to avoid on avoiding unwanted snoops and spies. Bizarre fruit has an ominous glow as if it contains some living spore. This thing should probably not be eaten. Good to know. Um... Cow plant dissected. Is that a poster? I think that's a poster. Um, a little armadillo? I think that these are just like little statues that are really cute. Um, Crystal Vu's top secret inventions. Okay, so just a book. This looks like a poster maybe. Another book. Some more posters. Beacons. I have to feel blue with this. Are these like mood lights? I think that these might be like mood lights. Okay. Another book. Little wacky statues, poster, and book. Okay, so most of this is stuff that's just like fun stuff. It's not things we're actually going to need. But I'm going to guess we're probably going to want this spy bug. And I'm going to buy one of the fruits. Like, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I'm going to buy it. I think those are the only things in here that we're probably actually going to need. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. So, thank you for shopping. <laughs> no one asked me what the more is. Okay. So, now we need to go and examine the sealed door at the secret lab. And I actually think that he is going to bring um, Jennifer with him because Jennifer likes to go exploring. Um, 
and she would come with him, you know, accompany him. Where is she? Is she back here at the bar? Yes. Oh my gosh, sweet pea, you need to put on your real clothes. And also, that's not the bathing suit that I got for you, but that's okay. Um, here. Let's put on your real outfit. Outfits. Change outfit. Where did half of this stuff come from? I did not dress her in half of this. Ugh, sometimes the Sims drive me bonkers. And I did put her, make her hot weather outfit be her normal outfit. I should have done that with everybody. Okay. So, oh my gosh, there's lots of uh, military people in here now. Here, why don't you come? Let's talk to her about Strangerville. And this one, too. Here, let's talk to all these military people. See if we can get any more clues while we're here. I love that we now have a military career. I'm so excited about that. And you will definitely be seeing it showing up in my Decades Challenge. But probably not until after we're finished with this. Um, let's see. They haven't got a clue. Okay. You may have heard rumors about an explosion. Totally false. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> Star Wars reference. Um, let's see. Did we talk to this guy yet? Ask him. Why are we so tense? Uh, paranoid Sims don't like being around others that are whispering. What are they talking about? Are they talking about me? All right. They are all not talking. All right, I think it's time for us to travel. She is like, the more they tell me there's nothing to worry about, the more I want to go and see it. So let's go and explore. Um, yeah, there's nothing super, not, especially not in the basement. Don't bother going there. Okay, so we definitely need to go in the basement at some point. Um, okay, so let's go here. I'm very curious to see, like, is it kind of like Jungle Adventures where you, like, uncover more things as you go? I'm curious to see how they're doing this. Um, because it said something about the door, which makes me think that's the only part we're going to be able to see. Oh, look. This little fence thing is all broken down. Whoa. Whoa. Weird sounds. Tons of these strange plant things. Are they, like, farming them or something? There's a whole bunch of them, but they're all the same color. So there's not like different kinds, it doesn't look like. Um, okay, so we need to come in here. Oh, this thing is flashing red. I bet that that's the secret door. Okay, here, we gotta have, um, Cole needs to be the one to do it. What all is in here? Let's see. There's like a whole mess, oh my gosh. Have they been like shredding documents? The chairs are all disheveled. It's almost like it was kind of sort of abandoned in a way. How weird. And there's definitely like machinery here. And there's, okay, so the basement is through this door. Okay, let's come and examine this. And here, you go ahead and come in here with him. So he's not by himself. So it looks like he's like taking notes about it or something. Does she need to examine the door, too? You can examine the door, too. Oh, only one can do it at a time. All right. Well, you're going to come out here. Why don't you come and examine this thing? View this plant and take a picture. The door is locked. Looks like it requires a key card. Someone around town might know how to get one. Before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. New notebook entry added. So we got to get a key card. Oh, but look at all this stuff that's flashing in red now. Okay. We definitely want to investigate all of this. Okay, we're going to search for evidence everywhere. I wonder what kind of evidence. Oh, we have to gather 15 pieces of evidence. Okay. Um, found all of our strange bills. Search boxes and papers at the lab. Search the archives at the library. Question Sims around town and buy a listening device to listen in. Okay. And then we have to compile a dossier and get this door open once we find a key card. All right, we've got a blurry photo. Are there more things? Can we search for a hack for evidence? <gasps> we have programming skills. I wonder if that will work. That would be really cool. I wonder if his skill's high enough, though. I can't remember. What did I make it be? Where is it? I always do that. Four. I don't know if that'll be high enough. We'll find out. It'll either work or it won't. And then changing outfits. No, we don't want to do that. 
Does this one have any evidence? No. Okay, so I think we really are just looking at like boxes and things. What about this stack of papers? No. That's just decorative. Here? I thought I saw a piece of equipment or something. Maybe it was just the computer. Um in the fridge? Nope. We're just gonna search all these boxes. Is there another one in here? Yeah. Oh, here. Sweet Pea, why don't you come inside and use the potty? There is one of those in here. I saw it somewhere. Where was it? Or did I make that up? Maybe. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Here. You come on in here. Come on. I think it's too close to that light. What is the deal here? Okay. Go use the potty. Oh, he needs to as well. I wonder if he's finding anything. All right, it looks like he successfully broke the computer. <laughs> Maybe one of the others will have something. Oh, we gotta do all the computers? That's annoying, okay. Um, so just this one over here. And he broke it too, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna have him, we have a glitched hologram readout. Is this all going into his inventory, I'm assuming? Yes, okay. Oh, we have two photos. Yeah, no, that's the hologram. That's the photo. Oh, that's the spy bug. That's right. Okay. I'm going to have him search through everything and then we'll kind of take a look at what all he collected. Okay. So I don't know if it's just that there's no evidence on any of these computers or if Cole's skill is just too low. He's managed to break all four of the computers, but he did find some more evidence in the boxes. We've got um, two blurry photos. We've got two glitched hologram readouts. We've got an aerial surveillance photo, an infrared microfilm, partially redacted report and another hologram. So um, that's that's pretty good. I think it has eight things total. Yeah, we, so we've got about half of what we needed to get. So I'm going to go ahead, send him on back home, and um, he'll be able to tomorrow kind of get back at it. All right, so Cole came back home, and he took that bizarre fruit, and he set it down, and Nadia's picked it up and is eating it now. <laughs> um, so, oh, 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 oh. Gosh. What the heck? <gasps> oh, that is so creepy. Our eyes are twitching. Do you see that? Wait, I have to close up on this. Her eyes are twitching. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, that was a little too close. Is she going to do that weird walk now? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she's possessed. What does this say? She's going to go get some water. The mother calls and I must respond from infected traits. This is going to last for three hours. Look at that. So when you get a buff, like it gives you a plus two happiness, plus two happiness, plus two, you know, like that's plus one happiness. Possessed. Plus 7,548,431. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. What is this one? Uh, <laughs> from eating a harvestable. That's just funny. All right. So it said something about she's got the was it possessed trait. Is that what it said? Infected trait. So is it like actually a trait that she has? Oh, <gasps> it is from consuming bizarre fruit or spores. Infected Sims have been exposed to the stranger villain infection. Sims might exhibit strange behavior or even become possessed. So it says this is going to last for three hours. Um, I'm going to follow her around a little bit. Oh, she's making weird noises too. So she's thinking about water and she's going to get a glass of water. I wonder if she'll go back to normal after three hours. Oh my gosh. This is so weird and creepy. All right. So don't eat the fruit. <laughs> That's the... Uh, the trick there does it change her like ability to interact with other people let's see <gasps> talk about plants praise the great mother enthuse about human hobbies discuss human things complain about normal human problems um let's discuss human things and see if he notices oh my gosh 
Try to talk to Nadia or plant bug. Oh, because we have that bug in our pocket. We can try to talk to her. Here, quit watching a video. I want to see this interaction. Oh my gosh. Whoever the voice actress is that had to record all of this is, I mean, like, this is hysterical. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it working? I wonder. Oh my gosh. This is so strange. Ah, oh, that's just creepy as all get out. Oh, he's like, what is wrong with you? Oh my gosh. Her nest is clouded in beauty. We do not deserve her. Oh my gosh. Just like all the tweets that they were sending out. Um, snap out of it. Yes. Nadia, what's wrong with you? Snap out of it. Uh. <laughs> oh, he tried to slap her and that did not work. Um, all right. What other things can she do? Let's have her... Um, praise the Great Mother. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Oh, look at her twitching! <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my gosh. And he's like, I'm going away now, goodbye! <laughs> Peace out! <laughs> How strange. Wait, oh wait, he's back. Oh, no, that was just a glitch. Okay, so she's still got one more hour of this. I'm going to kind of fast forward and we'll come back so that we can see what happens when it runs out. She keeps drinking water. Like, that's what she's automatically going and doing is getting water and walking around and getting water and walking around. I think it's about out. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So she just kind of snaps out of it then. Okay. Do we have any kind of side effect? No, just smooth from drinking water. How weird. Okay, so it lasted for three hours. Is she still infected, though? Do we still have the trait? <gasps> she does still have the trait. Okay. Um, Might exhibit strange behavior or even become possessed. Okay, so it might happen again now because she's been infected. I wonder how it spreads, though. Like... Do you have to eat the fruit or the spores or can she give it to them? Very interesting. Well, that's where I'm going to leave things for this part. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are just as curious as I am to figure out what is going on here. Um, now she's researching aliens. Like it's obvious that she's like curious now about what's going on. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will tune in for the next part to see, uh, kind of what happens in this storyline. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do this week is upload, um, maybe one a day until we get to the end of the story. If the storyline is going through the aspiration, then, um, we've got, let's see, let me actually pull the whole thing up. So we've already done the first one and then there's like the three other parts. So I'm imagining that this will probably be maybe at most five parts. Um, so with the first one, obviously you just watched. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm thinking is that this week I'll probably try to get one uploaded every day so that we can kind of see the whole storyline and uh, figure out what the heck's going on here in Strangerville. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, now's a great time to do it so that you can enter that giveaway. At, like I said, details are in the description down below and it is for the Xbox pack of your choice. Uh, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.